Hello everyone, and welcome back for some more Prismata. Let's jump in the queue, see if we can finally put a win on this ticket, huh? And meanwhile, what's on TV? We have Shadow Row versus the Trump Wall. Two players that I don't believe I will ever play because they only queue at 30 seconds or faster, and I only queue at 45 seconds or slower. Um, but both quite competent players, I think. Also noted memers, I guess. Uh, so what the heck is going on here? Like, well, never mind. London. I played London once, maybe twice, I think. Base plus nine. Um, pretty good absorbers, but also pretty competent fast attackers here. Um, Doom Drone. It seems like you can get up to four attack quite quickly with, like, Botch Vor. He's following me. How exciting. Um, and then, like, put down a Mega Drone, which fits into, like, a Red Rush kind of thing. You don't exactly want to use it as an absorber, but you can. Um, it might be nice to get some blue. Ooh, I wish I were player two, actually. But I think if you try to go for, like, you certainly can't go for a Mega Splitter. That should lose to all this stuff. Um, how do I, uh, I can, I can follow him back somehow, right? I don't know if he had something in mind he wanted to say or what. Um, so, I don't know. I, I think it's focused around these guys. I don't know if you can get green comfortably. You could maybe do something crazy like D1C next turn. I think that that would qualify as crazy. Although maybe just 1A? And like start going nuts with um, attackers. That leaves you with only nine income though, which is not a comfortable amount. Hmm. Although like one A into oh yeah, Vor kind of does not work with Mega Drone because they both take energy. Um. But maybe you could put out two Tarsiers to get the Mega Drone, and then two Tarsiers, and then two botches. You won't have enough energy, because you won't be able to buy a third Engineer. Okay, so I think turn two Animus is sort of out. Right, because if you do that, you have 9 income, TT, passing. And then you have, I guess, 10 bucks for Botch Botch NG? Uh, it makes me uncomfortable. Then you could build, like, Megadrone plus an Electrovore. I don't think that this is very good. But if I don't, like, he's got a stupendous turn two Animus with, like, double Doom Drone. And then, like, building a bunch of red shit. Or he's got DDC, which is, like, also fine, right? I think I have to kind of go for this. This stuff is rushy enough, and there's rewarded rewards for the rush in Megadrone if your opponent gets, like, blue. So I think I'm going to try this. TT. 2-2-E. 4 <laughs> Or three, I guess, is the build? It seems pretty sketch, but... Shouldn't one of these be a regular drone? I think so. I think it's a little... I don't know. I guess, what's he, what's he doing, right? He probably wants a grid. What else is he doing with seven bucks next turn that he couldn't do with six? I'm not sure.
Yeah, there's the grid, so we can at least punish that. Sort of. By denying it absorb for one turn. Cauterizer. That's kind of serious business, isn't it? Yikes. <laughs> I didn't even think about that one. That's a that's a big absorber. Um, and he can actually attack with it. Dealing two damage to me is kind of a big deal. But I'll have more economy and more attackers. So I don't know. That seems all right. This Mega Drone is, well, is it more? Yeah, I'll have, I have more economy now, even if I lose the Doom Drone. So, I can, like, pick up a Blast Forge and get my own grids soon, right? Uh, well, maybe not, because I kind of need multiple Rhinos to defend. Um, do I, though? He's losing two of these. Yeah, he can still attack with everything. I could hold back the Mega Drone to absorb everything. I guess. Instead of building these Rhinos? That's an idea. What if I did this? Now he can attack, killing just a Doom Drone. It gives me license to build more attackers, but it costs three bucks. I, uh, I think I'd rather just build the Rhinos, thanks. He doesn't have any permanent attacks, so, like, he has to preserve all these engineers, or his cauterizers stop firing, and all he's built is a bunch of soak? So I'm not feeling too bad, actually. Even though the Cauterizers kind of surprised me by letting him get some really early attack. Um, I'm feeling okay. And it's not like he can build a Mega Drone with his four attack, because it costs him all his energy just to use the attack. I love to see more grids coming down. That's just more not attack. I'd also love to get my own Blast Forge, but it's looking a long way off, to be honest. I think Grimwatch is better there. So seven attack is three, four, he loses three of these. One of these is still attacking. So he's still attacking for four next turn, even with the double botch. Without it, he's attacking for less. Right? He just has two attack now. So what am I doing against that? If he attacks for three, probably like attack with stuff, build Rhino Tarsier, because I want an Absorber. I could hold back the Mega Drone, but that seems bad. Um, when Rhino is absorbing, like, okay. But I, I, I don't know. It could be a little bit difficult to preserve enough energy to keep my Electrovore firing. What? Okay, all right. That way he keeps the Codrizers firing, I guess. Also, I'm only attacking for six, not seven, so I have to lose a Rhino. So he, he doesn't even need to build the Engineer here, really, if he wants the Codrizers to fire. Um, I 
I guess I'm just building rhinos forever. <laughs> this kind of sucks. Next turn, the Grimbotches are coming off cooldown, which is, you know, giving me a lot of defensive tempo, but... Uh, they're, they're coming, I'm sorry, they're, they're gonna start defending. Their lifespan will reach one. Um, so... I'll have a lot of defensive tempo available, but... It means I'll have a lot less permanent attack. Now, my attack for seven still doesn't turn off any attack. He gets to keep all his engineers. And really, I'm probably just attacking for five, actually? Because I'm going to hold back a Grimbotch or two? Uh, in which case, maybe a wall is not the best idea for him. Yeah. Um, five attack is just NG NG onto wall, which keeps all the Codrizers firing. So I should try to attack for six? Because it turns off a Codrizer? So it's well worth clicking one of the Grim Botches here. And then he'll be attacking for four, which is like just hold back one Grim Botch and then I can maybe build, I don't know, attacking for three? Okay. I won't have to build two Rhinos, <laughs> which will be a nice change of pace. What a crappy thing to have to build, right? So we attack for six, he loses three of these. Now he could choose to lose the grid to keep all the Codrizers firing, so I do need to keep that in mind. Um, is that really going to be good for him? I'm inclined to say no, because he can't really put down another grid as his big absorber. So it loses him access to this grid permanently. Um, and what does he breach if he does it? Maybe a Tarsier. I don't know. I could still build two Rhinos, I guess. Oh, I can't build a Doom Drone. Alright, Engineer it is. <sighs> okay. Yeah, that's a thing, I guess, actually. I didn't think about that. Huh. What a surprising line. Am I just super dead? Um, hang on. So he's actually attacking. We're, we're doing six damage, which is three and... Th no, three and three. So he has all this energy to attack with. So he'll attack for six. Well, I mean, Rhino. Doom Drone defends. But I'm not, I haven't been able to build any of the cool stuff in the advanced set, really. Like, I got a Mega Drone. It's not really enough to be a convincing win here. I think just like the fact that I was unable to get Infusion Grid is gonna kill me. But, I don't know. I guess he doesn't have much permanent attack. If I can turn off this Cauterizer, these Grimbotches are gonna time out. Maybe I'll have a chance. Another Electrovore seems pretty rough. I'm attacking for six is killing three of these. Yeah, so maybe a Tarsier or another Botch. Yeah. Hmm. So, should I have been holding Mega Drone this whole time, I wonder? It would be giving me, what, like two extra health per turn instead of four dollars per turn, which is pretty similar. But it would also mean I wouldn't have to keep building Rhinos to defend with, like, 
I could be absorbing on this, and so I wouldn't absorb on them. Yeah, I mean, this is just awful. Yeah, I, 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 ugh, I don't know. I guess I'm not ready to resign yet, but j just because his like Grimbox is timing out, and maybe I somehow get enough tempo off that, although I doubt it. Yeah, no, I'm 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 okay to resign now. <laughs> he has you know Tarsiers coming in that are just gonna wreck me. Hmm. So I don't know this one. What was it right to go with this early animus? My concern was if I don't do this, he has just too much. Um. This is obviously a kind of aggressive, a very aggressive and kind of desperate play. Maybe I was just too narrow-minded and thought that with these guys and Mega Drone, the Red Rush and, and Doom Drone, the Red Rush would be too good. But maybe just Infusion Grid plus Cauterizer is enough to defend it. Um, And as player one, I'm like reasonably well suited to go into some blue stuff or some red stuff with cauterizer. So maybe I should have just been less aggressive here. Let him get the turn two animus. But it's like animus double doomed, right? Like, geez, that's so good. And then he gets to build, like, Tarsiers and two more Doom Drones, I think. So he has seven, nine, eleven drones. Maybe not. Um, yeah. Honestly, the, the Cauterizer made way more difference than I thought it would. It was some very fast attack that put me under enough pressure that... Like, imagine if I just had these two extra Engineers, right? And I wouldn't have had to keep building all these Rhinos to defend with. I could have built Grimbotches, which are way better. And maybe some Doom Drones to go with that. It would have been a different story, I feel like. These Cauterizers did a really good job. And I don't know, like, I didn't have a lot of interesting tactical decisions, I think. I was just kind of so low econ, I was stuck building, like, exactly what I needed to build to defend, and then just lose, right? No, I guess we are gonna run into Shadow Row. I thought he... I don't know, I don't think I played him before, but maybe I have. Uh... Looks kind of like a Reservoir set. There's not good... There's not a lot of powerful attack, and there's good soak and absorb, like in the form of Doomed Wall and Cauterizer. So I think that... The um, Reservoir will be useful, right? The, the game should go long enough that you can get Reservoir value. Um, so I'm thinking we go... Turn two conduit with wild into like turn three drone animus to get a reservoir and then a tarsier. And then somehow we get like more drones and blue. Okay, going straight for red. Interesting. I wonder if I, hmm, this might be a little bit too fast for the, the Reservoir. Because it, it's going to be a little bit hard to get blue, isn't it? I guess I can build like Tarsier Rhino next turn, it's not the end of the world and get a Blast Forge as well. 
I don't want to build more wild drones if I can help it, and I believe that I can help it. Because he's going to be set up to exploit me pretty well. To, to, to kill these wild drones, and I need to get some real drones in there. Actually, maybe the Blast Forge is wrong, because I just won't have much money. And I need to keep going on... Ugh. I need to get a wild drone here. I can't just get... Ugh. I can't get a Blast Forge and live on nine drones. This sucks. <laughs> Letting him continue to exploit me with three damage sucks. But, you know, it's that or letting him... I don't know. I can't build a Blast Forge, so it's Wild Drone or Regular Drone, right? And I think Wild Drone is better. So here's... I mean, is he gonna kill a Wild, or is he gonna kill two NGs? Is he, does he think he's putting enough pressure on me that killing NGs is right? I think I'd be okay with that, because I have force fields, and it gives me a longer time at this higher econ level to try and get some blue. But I guess the idea is once I get blue, he goes into the wilds to deny value. Yeah, I guess since he didn't mirror the reservoir, he's losing the long game, so he needs to end it quickly, is the idea. God, I would really love some blue. Force field, Rhino next turn defends. And I can get like just barely a Tarsier and a Blast Forge then. But it's gonna have to just be a regular wall, not a doomed wall, because he can pretty comfortably exploit a doomed wall with. Um... Ooh, it doesn't defend. Yeah, he added two rhinos for extra pressure. do better to kill the rhinos, honestly. And we've almost made it to Reservoir time, actually, which is kind of interesting. I guess he now... I was about to say, now it's really important for him to kill my defenses so that I don't get a bunch of force fields, or value out of a bunch of force fields anyway. Do I just shift F here? Is that good enough to win? If I don't, what am I doing, right? Well, okay. Build a Doom Drone. 
I kind of need some income once I've got, like, I'm gonna have no money this way. But he attacks for six, so I lose one. I lose two attack, which means I have three, five, nine next turn? That seems kind of serious. He has a lot of rhinos to defend. He can actually hang on for a little while. Hmm. Well. Yeah, maybe get another wild, actually, instead of a rhino. Just so I can, like... If he wants to kill it, fine. He's not killing force fields, then. are pretty dang slow, aren't they? So he's really attacking for seven, which is making me lose three attack. Oh man, I'm so dead. I could kill a wild. I guess I probably should not, though. Yeah, he has plenty of defense. I'm not gonna win by pressuring these rhinos. Alright, well, that gives me one turn of respite. But he doesn't have to lose anything important this turn. Yeah. This is pretty awful. Okay, yeah, the Doom Drone, the Doom Dwell Train is gonna absolutely murder me. Yeah, I'm just, I'm not attacking at all. Okay. So, why did this happen? Am I wrong that it's a Reservoir set? Like, I, I think I'm not wrong about that, but that I got it too soon, because the only reason it was a Reservoir set was these guys, right? And I didn't buy any of them. So I needed to go slower to let myself get some blue. I also should have, like, stopped to say, like, hmm, how many drones do I want in this game, right? And with Doomed Wall the and, and, like, Cauterizer, I think the answer should be, like, I want an income around 16, right? But I stopped at, like, at most 15, and six of it was fake. Um, yeah. So I got caught up in concluding it was a Reservoir set, and then said I better build that right away. Um, but he did well to respond. Well, I, like, I hadn't really committed to Reservoir yet when he built this Animus. I could well have been going blue-green, which I think would be a good thing for me to do. He responded with a bunch of early aggression. And I was thinking at the time that, like, oh, you know, blue's gonna be pretty bad against this because he'll just ignore your absorb and kill wild drones for a while. But, you know, fine, I guess. Like, you, you just need some blue stuff, so you, you have to get it, and you need more drones than this. So what would have been a better build? I could have built Wild Drone Blast Forge on this turn. 
Um, but that makes it kind of hard to... To, like... What, what exactly do I do on the next turn? I guess... Now he builds... Hang on. Let's, let's actually do his turn, right? It was two Tarsiers in the drone. So now he's building Tarsiers. And I guess the idea next is a, a Borehole? To act as, like, weak absorb that's a, enough to keep me safe against the threat of him ignoring my wilds, but not, not so weak that he actually ignores my wilds. And it lets me double drone, right? Now he builds Rhino Tarsier, kind of like he did, and... Okay, fine. He's got a kind of normal um, wild drone into killing wild drones line. But I can build like some more boreholes to leave me well positioned to start picking off wild drones. Build some more regular drones and an NG in case he does go nuts and like kill this stuff. So you know, great. He he kills a wild drone. But now he has trouble defending, right? I threatened to kill so he has to build a rhino, and like even that's not quite enough. He has to either build a second rhino or hold a drone. And already things are looking way better for me, right? So I guess my problem was that it seemed to me like a reservoir set, but I ignored what my opponent was doing. This early animus signals that the game is not going to go as long as I hoped it would um, or expected it to. One of us is going to die relatively quickly because he's going to be turning out a bunch of attack and not a lot of defense. Um, so I think that it's still a relatively defensive set and I should respond by just Building the defense, right? And Borehole is a good, like, pressure unit, too, against Red. So, uh, I think that I, I just, like, didn't adapt to what was actually happening. Like, how, how long... How long did I take on the turn where I built Drone Animus? I think it was really, really fast, right? Yeah, it took four seconds. So, well, yeah, four seconds. Maybe maybe six, depending. I don't know exactly what the turn counter shows, because it shows 41 here, but then when I finish confirming... Okay, whatever. Anyway, maybe six seconds. So I concluded it was Reservoir. I was like, here's a Reservoir build, and I had it planned, and I did it. Um, but when my opponent didn't did something that does not look like Reservoir to me, I should have considered what that meant and what to do against this, as opposed to just, like, what to do with the set in general. And, you know, boreholes are a good way to pick off wild drones, so maybe this would be the right approach even ignoring the fact that my opponent went red right away. Alright, because they come with pixies, you can get up to six pretty fast. Up to three, I should say, pretty fast. Okay, well, that's too bad. We're at four losses in a row now on this ticket, but such is life. And uh, that's the end of the episode. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.